Welcome to Public Affairs in the name of international news media. Once again, this is Awi Bayari welcoming you to the beautiful home of Oscar and Evelyn Bonoan. It's always a blessing to have an opportunity to have an interview with them. And today, specifically, we're focusing on Oscar Bonoan, who is a, a very intelligent uh, man and a hardworking fellow, determined and was a structural engineer and has a beautiful story to tell. But before we go into the beautiful love story of Evelyn and Oscar, let us ask Oscar about his life story. Where was Oscar Bonoan born? As uh, I recall, I was born in La Torre, in Nueva Vizcaya. And in... tell us about your family. My family, from the very beginning, actually, the origins came from Ilocos, Tagudin, Ilocos Norte. And my father was a lieutenant in the Philippine Army, and he was with the guerrillas. Uh, they called them under the U.S. under the U.S. Uh, command, and. Uh, I think when I was one year old, my father was captured and killed by the Japanese. But before, before that, he asked one of his cousins to take care of me when he's gone. When I turned, when I turned school age, which was like in the Philippines, he's seven years old. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Uh, my father died when I was still one year old, and my mother remarried. And uh, I had one brother, and my mother tried when she married, remarried again after so many years. I think when I was six years old, the the stepfather wanted to bring us all, all, me and my brother and my mom, to Kapalonga, Camarines, Nor Camarines Norte. And I did not want to. Mm. So no matter how my mother tried to take me with her, I was so adamant to go with them. Why was that? Because I, I love where I was and I didn't want to be uprooted from my friends, from my uh, newfound family. Because when I was six, my, uh, my uh, uncle took me to live with them. And I was not officially adopted, but I was considered part of the family. And uh, I had Together we were nine brothers and sisters with this new family that I had. That was before my mom left to go with uh, my stepfather to Kapalonga. So I did not want to get out of that environment. And but so, did, did you see her again? Uh, it's a long story, but uh, my, my mother left heartbroken without me. And I stayed with my uncle, who I considered my parents, uh, my, my father and my aunt, my mother. And uh, they sent me through college. And I, uh, you know, I, I was under their care for until I was really grown up. And when I went to college, they sustained me for a while until I said I had to work for myself. And I was a working student. I was also a scholar, so that helped with the expenses. And my other aunt, who was my, my father's cousin also, took me under her care when I was already in Manila. Because I, I was in Bayumbong. I went back to Bayumbong before. I went to college there, and in my second year college, I went to Manila to finish my studies, and uh, that's when my aunt took over. And so, to make a long story short, 
I graduated from the University of the East, but I did not get my diploma because mm. at that time my aunt applied me for the U.S. Navy, and I, it was <laughs> I didn't even know about it. She signed for me, and the letter came for an interview. I said so I didn't do this, so she said. Well, you can try anyway. Your, the application is, uh, you know, the call is already there. I said, I'm already graduate. My so what happened with Oscar Banan? Did he decide to join the U.S. Navy or did he stay in the Philippines? We'll be back for more.